Hey survivors, Keith K here. And today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I've got a demo of an upcoming game called Star Sand that I am gonna um, run through the demo with you. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, this is something I saw on the Stranded Deep gameplay subreddit um, and went and downloaded the demo and checked it out. So I wanted to share this with you all. I think if you like Stranded Deep and some of the other survival games that I uh, record on, you're gonna be interested in this. Um, this is a project by a small Italian game studio called Tunnel Vision. Uh, and you, it's currently available in demo mode on Steam, so you can check it out there and follow it or put it on your wish list if you're interested. Um, so apparently this game is based on, a, or at least related to, a real-life incident of an Italian mar marathoner who got lost uh, in a desert marathon when there was a sandstorm. Or at least it's the inspiration. Uh, and I'll read you a little bit of what they've got on this project. Um, uh, on their website. It says, you are lost in a mysterious desert, scattered with the remnants of a lost civilization. Determined to survive, you must find water, food, shade, and shelter. But as you learn the secrets of these dunes, an ancient threat awakens. Sounds pretty ominous and pretty interesting. I'm excited about this. Hopefully you'll enjoy this demo. Um, if you do, give it a like. It helps the channel uh, quite a bit. But Let's get into it. And we're only going to be able to survive for two days, so there's a lot we won't be able to do or build. Um, but apparently there will be quite an extensive building mechanism, uh, as you can see by this gameplay footage here that uh, they've shared. So we get a quick overview, um, kind of standard, uh, standard keys here. No surprises. Uh, let's see, open inventory, open crafting menu, run, crouch. Yep, these are all kind of the same. So here we go. On the fourth day of the marathon, you get caught in a sudden sandstorm right in between two checkpoints. What are you doing running a marathon in the desert in the first place would be my question, but let's go with it. Following the track becomes impossible. You soon get lost wandering in the open desert for hours, blinded by the wind, breathing with difficulty, then... From the never-ending wall of sand in front of you, the shape of a small building emerges. The sun is already set as you open the door and, exhausted, pass out. And we get the ringing in our ears. Very stranded deep of them. <laughs> All right, and we are up. Um, let's take a quick look around before we worry about the tutorial. We're just in some kind of a building. There's a table, maybe an altar. There's some indecipherable glyphs. And there's a massive sea of sand out there waiting for us. And the sun is up in the sky. Um, uh, nothing promising off in that direction. Over here we can see there's the peaks of maybe some trees and a building off even further. Um, so let's uh, let's actually we'll go ahead and equip the water bottle. You right cl click to equip it while we keep walking and wait for the tutorial to tell us what to do. All right, our water level over on the right there doesn't look too low, but we'll go ahead and drink like they suggest. Okay, that's really helpful. Find water or you die. All right, so we saw what looked like trees over here. Hopefully, I'm just going to run. I think if you were really in the desert, that would be ill-advised, but we've got two days on this demo, so let's make the most of it. All right, and here we go. We've got a nice oasis. Looks like we've got some rocks, a dead tree there. Maybe that's a good windbreak, um, but a beautiful oasis down here. So let's go check it out. Um, oh, we got a rock. Let's take a look. E to pick up. Okay, so that's a that's a familiar. Way to work, okay. Take a little dip. 
cool off. Um, looks like the temperature is in Celsius, which as an American, I have no idea. I'm assuming that that's warm. Um, somebody let me know. So let's refill the water bottle. Uh, it looks like selectors don't work once you're in the water. And this, of course, this is a demo, so we're not going to nitpick. If I rotate the mouse wheel, I can I can switch uh, equipment. But once I get in the water, it's not letting me do anything other than drink. So we'll equip this guy. Go back in. All right, so we can eat a drink. So let's do that. Fill up our water, and then we'll refill our water bottle. Open the crafting menu. What do we got over here? Looks like a froggy. And uh, I'm not going to want to be around that guy. That looks like a scorpion. Let's just grab the stone. Hey, we got um, pineapple plant, but it looks like we need a tool, maybe. Pick the pineapple. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's open the crafting menu. What do we got here? We got cloth, cordage. All right, limited, limited amount of stuff here. This is probably going to be pretty. What do we need for that? For cordage. Okay, and it wants us to create a raw knife. We have the two stone already, so let's go ahead and craft that guy. Looks like there's a little cut down. So we keep walking around here. While that's happening. Oh, okay, it's in our inventory now. It's hot. Yes, thank you. Cut down a yucca plant. My favorite, if you've watched the, uh, oh, check that out. There's like sweat coming down the lens. That's trippy. Um, if you've watched me, at, uh, if you watch my Stranded Deep tutorials, you know that I love the yucca plant. Let's see if it turns out to be as useful here. No, I don't, so it's gone. I don't know if that'll respawn. Cut the palm tree, no. Craft and place a marker. Oh, what's that? I'm taking damage from heat, I think. Uh, can we find... Oh, hello. Stay away from him. Just gather some resources. I'm going to try to find some shade. The island might be a good spot. Oh, I'm going to try to get this frog. Come here, Mr. Froggy. There we go. Come on. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It actually turns red. Let's see if we can run ahead of him a little bit. Oh, crap. I like getting really overheated. Probably isn't the best thing to be doing right now. Oh crap. Never mind. Alright, let's forget that. Uh, oh no. Oh, I'm at 47 degrees. Yeah, we better get out of the sun. Deal with that later. This water doesn't seem to do anything. Let's grab this. What is this? Melon. Okay, let's see. Where is there some shade? There seems to be shade there. Yeah, it dropped a little bit. Degree, maybe? All right, let's craft and place that marker. So we need a cordage. So let's look at the cordage. That requires the stems that we got from the yucca tree. You're definitely gonna want more of that. <clears throat> How much did I need for that hat? Four cordage, which requires two stems. We need eight stems to make that work. Okay. Uh, oh, we got our cordage. So now can we make our marker? Yeah, let's craft that. I 
And of course, we might do this in a different order if we were doing this for real, um, but we're going to follow the tutorial for now. Let's just place that. Yeah, see, we went down to uh, 40 degrees from 47, so we're going to hang out probably there in that shade. Uh, what's this? Bananas. We'll grab that. Hopefully that respawns. We'll find out. We need more cordage. Here's another yucca. yucca right here let's see this wants me to open the map and place an icon so uh, here's the map I presume that's where we start yeah starting point we placed our trail marker here and let's I guess they want us to if our trail markers here then our oasis is right there okay I'm not sure what use that is just yet but we'll, I'm sure we'll find out uh, how we doing? Oh, we need some water. So let's drink up. Let's go in. Drink. All right. So so it's gonna go down. We're gonna need campfire. So we need stones and sticks. So we're good there. Let's just see if we can find another yucca before the sun does go down. That would be great. Let's grab more stones. Again, we've only going to be able to... The demo only lets us survive two days. Oh, we've got some kind of desert gazelle. That doesn't look friendly. We'll stay away from those things, whatever they are. Can we... Nope. Oh, here's another yucca. Sweet. mosquitoes away using smoke from a torch. How about if we just stay away from the mosquitoes? I don't want to make a torch right now. It's not cool. I can't see anything. It fell. Right, hopefully we didn't miss anything. Oh, hello. I don't think I'm equipped to deal with that. Camel. There's a frog. I really want a frog. The most expensive frog we've ever uh, caught um, in any game. All right, let's see. So we can get some. Oh shoot, am I full? Well, that's gonna blow. Um, <laughs> crap. Can I move this and carry it like in Stranded Deep? No. Uh, oh, uh, we should be able to. Bring this down here. Yeah, perfect. So we'll bring our bananas down here. That there. 
In fact, I think I can eat a banana. What are we doing on food? And we maybe just eat all of them. Yep. Alright, the temperature's dropped a full 20 degrees. Alright, and here's our first clue that this is not Earth. I couldn't tell from the stars, but we've got two moons in the sky. Um, so, this is our first hint that uh, something really unusual is going on here. Um, we're not we're not on Earth, although how there would be the exact same creatures here, uh, I guess is part of the mystery that we'll have to discover. Let me stay away from here. So, all right, I am gonna go back out here. I'm gonna get a fire going, and I think I saw there's some storage. I'm gonna go ahead and get these built, and then I'll come back. Uh, I won't make you sit through all that. I may, might build a loom, but I don't think it's worth it for two days. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, and we're back. Uh, you can see the temperatures dropped quite a bit. Um, I've got frost coming off my breath. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of pulsing at us to let us know that it's cold. So we've got the fire built. Um, let's see how this works. So we put the wood. So let's... Yeah. Split this. Oh, I see what happened. All right, so let's put, we'll put one wood in. Oh, it just starts right up. And I was able to find another frog, so we're going to drag this over. Um, we'll have two frogs, uh, but let me, so we've got eight. If I bring this down to four, hit split. Yeah, we get two. So let's drag this over here. Um, keep that cooking. I was able to get some more stems also. Uh, I basically cut down that melon plant. It gave me some stems. I do really want to get, uh, let's see, the raw axe. We need one more cordage. So let's go ahead and build that. Sorry, craft. Let's see that counts down here. Um, then we can, we should be able to get our axe, our raw axe anyways. I imagine it's going to be more advanced later in the game. So go ahead and craft that. It should just go into our hot bar. What's this doing? Hmm. Used to craft gunpowder. So that's not something we're going to need to worry about right now. It's cooking kind of slow, but that's all right. Don't suppose there's any rush. I did craft this as well. Um, we're pretty hungry. I, I don't really have anything to put in here just yet. Let's let's eat the pineapple. So it restores 30, 40, 30 to 40 hunger and 3 to 8 thirst. Not sure how to read that on there. That's well, almost a little less than half, I guess. Um, now the melon's interesting. It says has some kind of soothing properties for the skin so looks like we can eat it but it looks like we can also craft uh, a melon balm so we might need that for yeah for sunburn the frond is going to come uh, probably for cutting down one of these trees maybe we'll do that next while we're waiting here how's the cooking going We've cooked one. Let's brought our temperature up a little bit. So I don't want to cut the banana tree. What do we got here? Date palm. Oh! We can grab those dates. That's cool. What do we got here? Cocoa palm. What are the rest of these? Palm. Coconut. Date palm. Ah, sweet. What's this one? Palm. So, let's see. I'm using those mostly for shade. Let's drop, not this guy, let's drop this tree and just see what happens. Uh 
Oh, it's gonna go into water. Great. Let's grab a drink. We have even more. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It breaks all the logs at once. I will. I will take that. Any of those fronds? Okay. Oh, look at that. Two coconuts. And our fire went out. Hopefully. Alright, those both cooked. Great. Um, oh, and the sun is coming back up. That's quick. But it is, a, it is just a demo. So let's see if we drop these two. Cut to open. Alright, so let's give it a try. Coconut water. So we'll let our water drain down a little bit more. Uh, you know I don't like to waste water in a desert. That's doubly true. Let's drop. Can't be cut into stems. Yeah, let's drop our. Let's drop these guys. What's this? Dates. down here all right so we've survived one day so we've got one day left that we can Explore. I am gonna. We saw a building off in that direction, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get this hat made, and I'll come back and we'll go exploring. No problem. What else is interesting in here? Given we got a day. Crude spear might be fun. We need a rock, a cordage, and a log. I think we've got all those. Do we have enough to make one more cordage? We do. All right, let's do it. And uh, okay, so we've got our hat. Let's see if we can place it. Perfect. Oh, we've got a sandstorm. Palm fronds. Uh, oh, we lost a coconut too. I guess anything not nailed down, that's um, different. That's something to worry about. I'm going to come back uh, when the sandstorm ends. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and craft our uh, spear, but I'm not going to ask you to sit through this, so I'll be back in a second. All right, and then we're back. The sandstorm has just lifted. Everything not nailed down blew away. Um, so there's that. And I'm gonna, we've got, uh, we ate some of those, the dates, left the seeds for farming, uh, which isn't really available just yet. Um, I think I'm gonna leave everything besides these behind. I was hoping make our we need a frond for that so let's uh, let's head in the direction we want to go yeah I think it looks like a good wind shelter and we came from that direction I remember we saw a building over here so given that we're in day two oh and there's a looks like a hyena over there we're gonna head this way but given we're in day two you know, I probably would take a little more time here. Um, take a few more of these trees down. I'm not going to make the, the melon balm. I would do that um, to deal with sunscreen, but we're just going to deal. We'll just take a chance on not getting the heat stroke. 
Oh, how are we doing on water? Let's uh, let's fill up first. Sandstorm wasted a good portion of our day. Of course, this is only a demo. So let's get to the top of this dune. Uh, okay. He's over there. I think that's the top of that building. Let's go see what we can discover there. All right, and here we are. What looks to be a ruin of some sort. Got some sun bleached skeletons of some kind over there. It's a little bit of foreshadowing. Maybe cliffs again. I'm not sure what to make of those. Looks like it's been ruined for some time. Oh. Oh. Hear that? Definitely something in here. Yeah, there's only one way to go. Oh. Let's see if we can finish him off. All right, we did take a bit of damage there. Back up. chance. Oh, and here we are again. Finish this guy off. Oh, this has got some interesting loot. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with it, but let's grab it anyways. So that's one. Does the other one open? Oh, it's awfully finicky. I guess we've got all that. Can we stack these? Yeah. Alright, so presumably in the game there'll be more we can do with that. Uh, maybe we could craft. Um, let's grab our coconut. Maybe we could, uh, let's see. Coconut water. Gonna let us drink it. Let's see. All right, that's good. All right, now it's empty. Let's see. Just like strain the deep. Uh, let's go ahead and pop these down here. Presumably later on in the game we'll be able to do armor and such. I imagine we're running out of time. Let's just see if there's any more of these critters. Oh, nice. Got ourselves a sword. Any other loot critters in here? Alright, we got some strange creatures. We got what looks like maybe temples. This is the mystery. Oh, got a strange artifact of some kind. Equip it and left click to activate. Ah, uh, that's not doing anything. Oh, no it is. It never started. It was always there. A menace from below, as old as our desert. Here, thirst and hunger drive all creatures, but them they crave blood and flesh. Yikes, that looks awful. Some type of we vision learned message. To coexist. Fighting. Yeah, here we go. Those we are the guys we just the fought. Millennia. We didn't need them. They needed us to feed. And the more they fed, the more their number would grow. 
endangering the very existence of our kind. Very cool. Very cool setup. So it's a vision scroll thingy. That's clever. Anything else in here? Uh -oh. More skeletons. All right, and uh, where's the sun's about to go down? So we're gonna head back. Let's do one quick scan of the perimeter. And this is probably gonna do it for us. I'm sure even if we make it back, now oh, there's our starting point. So even if we make it back, this, the day is about to end. Um, and that'll be the end of the demo. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I am super excited about it. I hope that the uh, devs do have some sort of a beta program. Uh, I definitely would love to participate in that. And let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to be putting this on your wish list. Um, if I should plan for uh, a series and some tutorials, much like the Stranded Deep uh, videos that uh, you all have been watching. And um, I'm going to leave, I have a poll up on which game I should work on next. Uh, right now, The Long Dark is in the lead. Um, but uh, if you haven't voted, please do uh, go take a look. Let me know which games you're most interested in. And that's the next series that I'm going to focus on. I may drop a, a video or two um, just to finish up the Stranded Deep tutorials that I had in mind. But... Um, definitely want to start focusing on another series for a while so would love your input uh, and um, as always if you got something out of the video please give it a like if you want to be notified of future updates please consider subscribing I definitely much I definitely appreciate you all uh, I love the feedback that I get in the comments uh, love the tips that others have that I uh, that I miss that that's uh, an important part of the community so definitely drop those I don't mind being told that I'm wrong at all. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. If I miss something, let me know. Um, and we'll just hang out here a second and see if we get any kind of end game. Well, let's just fight this guy. Let's see what happens. What the hell? Why not? Some leather. I'll take me over that any day. <clears throat> but I don't think I'm going to get a chance to cook it. Those aren't too tough. So that's not too bad. If we have to fight those, if we've got the sword already. Oh, I'm full. Full up. And here's the final screen uh, from the, the developers at Tunnel Vision. Um, thanking us for the play. I think this is fun. Uh, if you're interested, go, go check it out on Steam. You can download the demo. Um, you can see they've got a Discord server if you want to pop over there. Um, you can find me there as Lava Holiday. I'm already, uh, I'm already on that Discord server. And um, we'll see you back here soon. As always, appreciate you watching. Appreciate all the support. Take care, everybody.